In this video, I'll show you how to compress your PDF file size. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. And once you've done that, please go and consider leaving a like as well, as it really does help get this video to more people. And please do watch this guide right until the end of the full steps of being able to make your file size of your PDF smaller. So without any further ado, let's go and jump into this guide. I'm now on my desktop and just a quick note, this guide is going to work on MacBook and pretty much any operating system as well as Windows. So here is the PDF file I want to go and compress the size of. As you can see if I right click on it and go into properties, currently the size is about 108 kilobytes. So I know this is very small but it's just sort of proof of concept um, that this sort of software stash website is going to be able to go and shrink the size of our PDF. So do keep watching because I'm showing you exactly how to use the website and then the end result at the end as well. So of course the first thing you want to do is of course go and open up the website. So you want to come to um, a web browser, so I'm using Google Chrome, and then come to a search engine. So all you want to do is type in PDF just like this, compressor.com just like this and go and press enter. And then you want to make sure you come to .com, the official website. So click here, it's going to take you a minute to load. And as you can see, you've got a ton of different options. So make sure you go and select PDF compressor, which is just here. And then you need to go and click on upload file. So click here and then go and locate the file. So I've got mine just here, video.pdf. So I'll open it up. Then it's going to go and tell you the amount it can go and compress it. So for example, here it says 52%. And also you can do this with multiple PDFs at one time. So if you've got say 10 PDFs you want to go and compress, you can upload them all at once and then download them all at once as well um, to go and save you time. So let's go and click download all just to go and show you the final file size. So here is the zip file as you can see down here. So simply go and open it up. As you can see it does say 53 kilobytes here but I'm going to go and right click on it just to go and get the properties as well. Um, just like so and then we can go and compare it with the old one. On the left is the original one which is 100 kilobytes and on the right is the new one which is 53 kilobytes. So there we go, we saved our file size by about 50%. So if you found this guide useful please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel, leave a like for more, I'll catch you in the next one, peace.